You know exactly what we're gonna find out there, Sarge. Same thing as yesterday, in the last 20 days since combat ended. Absolutely nothing. Shut oh. it and fall in, Dubois. How, Chief? How many caves are we hitting today, Sir Corporal Sir? But that's enough. If you had your little waltz on Tarawa, that hatchet's buried. You guys have been out here fighting for a while, and I don't know a damn thing about you. What am I supposed to write home about? You've been here, what, three weeks? Listen, I'll tell you, because you don't know shit. Can I ask you a question, Black Hat? Fish, just check the cave. Lou was telling me something about when you got separated. Fish, are you writing a book? You gonna believe somebody like Lou? Chief Redpecker over there don't know his head from his ass. Listen, kid, you gotta watch out for Lou, all right? He's already got swamps going for brains. One minute he's cracking jokes, the next minute he's sticking a gun in your face because you were snoring. Come on, lower your weapon, damn it! That's an order! Something happened after Saipan. Something changed. Two weeks back, we were taking those south cliffs. I was watching the locals jump. Saw a woman throw her baby off the side and look me in the eye right as she jumped. We've seen a lot, we've done a lot. We've done what needed doing all the way somehow managing to stay above ground. Point I'm making though is ain't nobody coming out of this war the same way they came in. Certainly not us. What about you, Sarge? The way I see it, boys, we all left our families for the same reason. We left them knowing that there's only two possible outcomes here. Either we come home or they get a telegram. And I, for one, would prefer the Western Union save their ink. So what do I want when I get home? I just want to live.